Alright, here we go. I forgot. Completely forgot. I spent all my time in Brightstone Cave to get the uh, Estus Flash shit, and I forgot to do it. But I went and did it. And now we're back. Bell, gonna try the Belfry Luna. The thing that concerns me about this place is that... Basically, there's... Oh, fuck. The thing that concerns me is that I don't remember that fucking dog was there. The thing that concerns me about this place is this can go one of two ways with these invasions and everything. You either have um, a scenario where you're going to get invaded by two people. If you beat those two people, you can now continue onward into the area, finish the area, whatever. Or, if you get invaded, you beat somebody, you kick them out, they are immediately replaced by another individual. And so, um, that's the, that's, that's the worry, is that it's the latter. So let's, uh, we're about to fucking find out, because I'm sure we're going to get invaded the moment we walk in here. Or not. Have people moved on? Yes, yeah, so here's this little fucking midget dude. Kicked my ass last time. I think, was he the one that got the kill on me, actually? I think that was the dude that actually got the kill on me last time. <laughs> little asshole. This is going to be such a disappointment if I don't get invaded at all. Like, I go to the Belfry, I mean, I go to the Brightstone Cave. Who the fuck expects to get invaded at the Brightstone Cave? And then I come to the Belfry Luna. Oh, shit! Then I come to the Belfry Luna, fully expecting nothing more than to get invaded, and I don't. Uh, what? Boss? Oh, there's a, I see the ladder over there. I thought I was about to get invaded because the game kind of stu the frame rate stuttered a bit. I thought that was a sign that I got invaded. Or I was about to be invaded. You motherfucker. More stuttering. There it is! that shit though <gasps> oh yes that definitely So we're laggy. We can already tell we're laggy. Yep, we're laggy as shit. <laughs> Yo, this game. I thought I was going to kill him. Nailed it! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing in this area? So that was, I mean, that was obviously, clearly, just laggy as shit. Pretty much every single hit we got on each other that entire time. You motherfucker! Pretty much every single hit we got was just not really a hit. Oops, that's gonna suck.
we're laggy again. Yep. We're laggy again. So, I mean, I can't... This isn't even worth doing because we're laggy again. We can't get good connections in this game. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's somebody else. I mean, I don't even know. Let's see. I mean, for all I know, the entire point of this area is that you're not even supposed to, like, win. You're not supposed to beat people. You're supposed to just one run through. Like, I run through, I run up, I ring the fucking bell, I run back, I go... Because that fog door wasn't blocked off. Usually, mist doors would be blocked off if you're supposed to, you know, just stay in the area and defeat the invader. But, I mean, when you can't... When you just can't time anything, it's not... I am interested in the PvP of this game. I want to get into the PvP of this game. But if the majority of the connections are like this, where I can't really count on... Oh, everything working correctly? I forgot about the dog again. When I can't count on everything working properly... When I can't even count on my weapon working properly? Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha! That should've hit me. Ow. My god, this is like a horror movie. I'm being chased by midgets. Accuracy of my weapon is a shitload to be desired. Oh, that's why I couldn't climb down, because I was looking at the wrong side of it. Stupid. Drink, bro. I hit the X button. Hit the X button three times. What? Say what? So that are we gonna? Oh boy! What the hell? I couldn't target him. Yeah. So we're only moderately over level. Oh, never mind. Yeah. That was done. Oh my god, there's three. I can't get invaded during this, that's good. <laughs> that would suck if I could. Dodge, dodge! Nice. Wasn't that bad. Not bad. That was not bad. Trading is never bad. Yeah, I'm definitely... I mean, I'm quite clearly, I'm just over-leveled for this section. You know, I'd be killing these dudes in four hits. You know, you get this place the Lost Bastille. You're not supposed to be level 130, whatever I am, to fight here. I wonder if you could have cut off their uh, tails.
I mean, it definitely doesn't help that they were, again, another boss that was just simple to avoid the attacks of. Strafe. Circle strafe. Beats everything. Yeah, I'm curious if, I mean, it, it's probably more a factor of, um, everybody that does invade still in this spot. Yeah, there's the other. There's that bonfire I needed. This is probably more a factor of my level, again, why I didn't get invaded that much. Oh, here we go. Allows a two-minute... Oh, okay. That's actually really good. I wonder how much it increases. But that's still very, very good. Um, It's probably a factor, again, of me being over-leveled for this section, and that's why I didn't get invaded that much. Because there's just... I'm too over-leveled. I'm too high of a level for the people that are usually hanging around here. The people that are probably my level are more around, like, the Belfry Soul area now. Or Gale the center, that's definitely an NPC. Not where I wanted to fucking be! More of these fuckers? because of my weapon. I need weapons with higher durability, dog. It's not necessarily that, but I think I just need to equip. I think I need to get rid of this whole uh, pyromancy thing. Pyromancy's useless. It's useless, and I have plenty. Now that I'm not wielding the Ultra Great Sword, now that I don't have that extra weight bearing me down, I should be able to equip a secondary weapon uh, that is not just the bow. So let's check this out now. Because what am I? I'm at 56.5. So let's actually, I'm actually very curious. What do I want to do here? I can do one of these. Oh. Let us definitely do the Craftsman Hammer. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to check this out. I mean, I'm going to go first things first. I'm going to head back here. I hope I get... No, I don't think they invade you again after they kill you. I think they stay away. Man, I got... So I get gas on the way home from work. And so... I stopped at a AM PM and I decided, you know what, I'm thirsty. All I got to drink right now is water. Water is a boring drink. Give me a second. Water is a very boring drink. I'm gonna just grab a little I'm gonna grab a little little soda real quick. Why not? Why not? So I grabbed a little soda. And they had this new actually the first thing. I don't really drink soda. I used to drink the shit out of soda. I drank way too much. And kind of figured out, you know, if I keep this up, I am going to blow up like a beach ball. I don't want to blow up like a beach ball. I am a little overweight, and I'm okay with that, but blowing up like a beach ball is not okay. I'm not okay with that. Obesity, not good. Being a little overweight, whatever. As long as you can function properly and you're happy with yourself, who gives a shit if you're a little overweight? People will people will care. But if you don't care, then who cares? Right? Right. Not what I wanted to do. Son of a bitch. Not the situation I wanted to be in. I'm dead. <laughs> so that did not work out. I forgot to power stance. 
first, and we're having the problem. Like I said, the problem, there's a problem with maces against these dogs. I don't understand what it is with the hitboxes they made with the maces and how the dog hitboxes work, but maces have trouble hitting them. So that happened. At least now we know that we do get to fight this dude again, though. I forgot to, uh, I tried to hold the left button. The power stance and you're supposed to hold the Y button. That was the problem. Oops, what am I doing? So I do need to switch it up. Been using great swords for too long now. Keep using great swords, dude. Seriously? That bitch for days. So I'm gonna, I mean, we're gonna check that out one more time. But I was definitely not, I was not convinced. Oops. So basically, you don't get anything for doing for using the right button and the right stick with dual wielding. You get literally nothing. But anyway, yeah, I'm not convinced by that. I mean, I'm sure there are better maces. Just uh, not the kind I was using. Stick with my shit, man. I've gotten too used to this, and I'm basically at the end of the game, so fuck it. But now we should be able to go to straight, and we should be able to go to where the lost center was. And uh, finish off those areas. Open up those doors and whatnot. So at least now I'm, what, one in four? <laughs> in my invasion kills? Have I been? No, I've been invaded five times, haven't I? Because there was another time outside of the Belfry Luna that I got invaded somewhere. The Rat Place, the Grave of Saints. So never mind, I'm one in five. Twenty percent. Yo, thank you so much. The sound effects always do that every damn time. I would love to know. I would absolutely love to know. Shit, that dude. I would love to know how I didn't hit that dude, firstly. But I would love to know how I was literally surrounded. Completely surrounded by four people. Targeting one of them. And somehow the game managed to thread that needle. And swing directly in the middle of them and hit absolutely zero of them. <laughs> Why am I using this weapon? Just the up-down trajectory is just so bad. Like, that attack is fine. That attack is not. I dodged late. They're both broken, they're both broken. Very broken. We got a gargoyle bite. Of course, it's gonna be a spear. Oh my bad. Paid zero attention to that shit. Anyway, so that should have used up all of my boss souls. Fever. Yep, all the boss souls are gone. Oh. 
Well, that's pointless. That's really all that's used for? So you can hop down and dodge this shit? That's oh, never mind. Never mind, we got a petrified dragon bone out of it. Worth it. Worth it! And there's no reason to care about re-equipping the life rings for the sinner's rise, because I've cleared that out already. Nothing respawns there anymore. Oh, I didn't even finish the soda story. So, basically, I don't drink soda anymore. But when I do drink soda, I really only drink orange soda or root beer. Like, those are the only two I will drink. Because I kind of figured out, like, after stopping... Uh, after I just stopped drinking soda, I kind of realized I wasn't drink really drinking it because I liked it. I was pretty much just drinking it because it was a different taste. And so, you know, like, I just... I like eating different things. I like drinking different things. It's really the... Just a different, a variety of tastes that matter to me, less than like something being like really good or whatever. And so I realized, you know, I wasn't drinking the soda, I wasn't drinking Coke or Pepsi or whatever because I liked it. I was drinking it because it was just a different taste. Whereas I actually do like, generally like orange soda, and I do, I like most root beer. And so if I do drink soda, it will be one of those two. And ever since that decision, I have found out. Nowhere carries orange soda or root beer. Like, if you go somewhere that has, like, a fountain drink thing, rather than, you know, just selling it in, you know, 12 packs or bottles, whatever, you know, if you're going to somewhere that isn't just, like, a grocery store, it's almost impossible to find one of them. Like, either one of them, they'll always have either one or the other, or they won't have either one. I have never seen, seen a place that had both in my life. It's weird. I just don't get it. Did both of the people we fought against... No, that one dude was using a katana. And then a parrying... Dagger thing. Whatever the fuck it was. It was a rapier, I guess. you know what you probably light that up and that's what lights up the inside that's probably what it is since, since that's oil I'm assuming and obviously oil burns oh you're probably gonna light up both let's test that shit out I do have an item that I will never use ever that lets you nope an item somewhere Was it this shit? Holy crap. Yeah, I think I got more than enough of these to not really care about using one. So you light this shit up and it lights up the inside. And I guess that's supposed to make it easier somehow. I don't really understand how it makes it easier because it's still, you know, it's still the same boss. Well. Maybe it isn't, maybe it does something different, but from what I heard, it just extends the targeting, the distance you can target the dude in. In which case, like, who cares? So yeah, that's all it does, it just lights the area up a little bit. Fun. I mean, that's not exactly, that's not like, what's her name? Mytha or whatever? That's not like that where it's just completely fucking random, hey! light this windmill on fire there's no there's nothing to say that you should be able to approach it there's nothing that hints at being able to light it on fire but just you know in case you happen to walk up here where there's no item nothing of note with a torch lit you'll find out that you can light this bitch on fire and it'll get rid of all the poison that one's fairly obvious 
Like, look at this, this wide I... open space. Dripping with oil. I'll be around. I wonder if you if might you do something with fire here, if something wouldn't happen. That's very obvious. Provided you go through Belfry Luna and actually use that shit. So now I am going to actually go. I think it's this one, the Belfry Soul. 